<sighs> Mayor. Mayor. Someone at the door. Mayor. Hello? Yes? Hey, Matt. It's John, your neighbor. I was going to see if maybe I could borrow the mower again. I won't break it like last time. Please, sir. Yep. Hold on, John. I'll be right out. Just give me, give me one second, buddy. What? Hello, sir. It's Bill with Timeshare International. I was wondering if you had a few moments of your time and I could speak to you. I'm pretty busy, Bill. I'm out here with my associate and we'd love to chat with you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Give me one second, Bill. I'll be right out to talk to you and your associate. No problem. What? Hey, hello, it's Selfie with the local Girl Scouts. We're gonna just sell some cookies, sir. Oh, um. Yeah, what kind of cookies you got? I have the Thin Mint and the Shortbread. I'm with my mom. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll be all right now, Sophie. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt, and this is my Uzi. But first, a word from our sponsor. This is the Olight Balder Pro 1350 lumen, 260 meter beam throw, four hour runtime, has a green laser, also has a quick attach slash detach system. It is the most affordable green laser slash light combo on the market. It's $149.95. And if you click my link in the description below and use code DEMO10, you get it at an even better price. You guys may remember not too long ago, I picked up this Uzi. I made a video about it and then you haven't seen it since then. You probably wondered why. Well, it's because this is a fully auto, fully transferable Uzi and I did buy it. It is mine. It was mine then but it hadn't cleared all the paperwork. So that day, Paul from Apache Rifle Works came out and he was actually in charge of the Uzi because it was not transferred to me yet. Today, my Uzi finally got cleared. I have the paperwork, it is mine, and I can take it home and play with it all by myself. Not, not, not like that. A lot of people think it's illegal to have machine guns, and a machine gun is a gun where you pull the trigger once and it shoots full auto, it shoots a lot of bullets. This is a machine gun, this is fully auto, and this is something that a citizen can own. Back in 1986, they made a law that they could not manufacture any new machine guns to go onto the civilian market. This one, along with all the other ones that are out there, are considered pre-banned. They were already there, and so they're grandfathered in. So there is a limited supply of machine guns, which drove the value way up. I paid $15,000 for this gun. This same gun that is a semi-auto gun is probably worth a thousand dollars so I paid 15 times more for basically the exact same gun except mine has an extra switch to make it go full auto but it's all supply and demand it's because there are only a limited supply of these things. I want to do two things today first I want to shoot my Uzi a lot and kind of get to know it I've I don't have a whole lot of experience shooting full auto I've shot full auto guns before but not a bunch of them and so I want to shoot my Uzi a lot but I also want to know if a 9mm can ever make it through this, we have a lot of 9mm rounds, and this thing is a steel plate from AR500 Armor, and it's level 3, it'll stop at 308. And the cool thing about steel is you can hit it multiple times. But can you hit it hundreds of times, is the question. So we have this same plate in this plate carrier, this is Skinny Vinny, and we are going to just be dumping rounds from the Uzi into Skinny Vinny's plate carrier to see if we can make it through this plate. I also kind of want to see how long before the plate carrier disintegrates and it falls out the bottom. One thing that's kind of cool about Uzis is they fire from the open bolt, so it locks open like this, and when I pull the trigger, the bolt comes forward and fires the round. Just super weird to get used to. Okay, we are ready to fire at old Skinny Vinny. I also kind of want to see how good I can keep these on his plate carrier. Round two, we'll see what happens. So Skinny Vinny, see if he stays up. We got him duct taped up there now. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, that is the coolest thing ever. Actually, pretty good hits. Oh, so check this out. The bullets are going in here. They're hitting that metal and then they're spreading out, you know, especially when you hit so many. So they're coming all out the sides of this carrier. That's actually going to destroy our plate carrier very fast. I hadn't thought about that, but nothing going through. He lost both arms though. Vinny, I'm coming for you, buddy. I have a feeling that Vinny's plate carrier will not make it through this mag. I think the plate will, but I bet the plate is going to fall out after this mag. We'll see. I was wondering how this hadn't fallen apart. Turns out it did. His uh, pelvis just caught it. So it is still there, just dangling. I wonder if we threw any of them up here above it. No? Oh, yeah. So some of them, the top of the plate ends right there. So some of these are going up here. Totally got him in his booby right there. Sorry, Skinny Vinny. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to secure this thing. We have these problems quite often. I did this video, the same type video with shotgun slugs one time, and it was the same deal. It's super hard to hold onto these plates when you're hitting them with tons of ammo. So far we've hit it with several mags worth of nine, and it's just shredded everything around it. I'm finding some of these mags, I have multiple. Some of them are a little bit finicky with this gun. So I need to figure out which ones are good and which ones are not. I just lubed the heck out of it, so it's like super slimy right now. This would be a finicky mag, I believe. We'll give it another shot though, you know? I don't want to judge it off the first one. <laughs> Ran pretty good there, and it's throwing all kinds of oil out. Okay, let's try it again. Vinny, still got a plate in there? Giddy up, partner. Oh, yeah! <gasps> Plate is still totally fine. Also, Vinny really likes the Uzi because the more I shoot it, the lower his pants go. Uh, I want to try something with the Texas Star. I want to see how fast I can... Knock all the plates off. I'm going for a new record. Jerry Michelek, watch out. That's not cheating. You're cheating. <laughs> that counts. That counts. Plate's over. That counts. Do you know what I'd like to see shot with an Uzi? A toilet. Oh look! There's a toilet. Disgusting. Check out this shirt. It's Batman, but it's an eagle and not a bat. It's a Demolition Ranch Batman shirt. Link in description below if you're interested. We are going to mag dump one more time on Skinny Vinny, and I'm going to do it one-handed because I have, I don't think I've ever one-handed this movie before. Ready, Vinny? <laughs> Vinny looks like he's having some back problems. How's the plate? <laughs> totally fine. We hit it with hundreds of bullets today and nothing went through. Sweet. All right guys, I hope you like the new full auto Uzi as much as I do. Let me know in the comments below what you would do if you had a full auto Uzi. What would you mag dump? Comment below. Thanks for watching Demolition Ridge. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad car? Bobby!
I'm a doctor. Ish.